Hello YouTube, it's pandemic time. Welcome back, this is Easy B. Today I would like to cover my top 5 selection for watches during a pandemic or quarantine. Quarantine situation where you may still have to move around, do step, stay fit, active, take care of your family and not worry about the watch being damaged or broken. So something affordable, sturdy, multifunction and practical. Affordable mean really low, below 200 except for one of them. Now let's go to the watches. So let's start from the most affordable to the, the least affordable. So at the bottom of the price range we have the Casio MRW 200H. This one is kind of your Walmart special. It's about $20 or less. Right? Easy watch, 100 meter water resistance, easy to read. It's mimicking the look of a diver watch. Um, it's a 45 millimeter plastic resin case. It takes a battery, of course. I think the average year life is a year old. So this is a good watch to wear if you don't worry about breaking it or damaging. As you can see, it's pretty tough. I've been wearing it a lot. There are some scratches on the best, the, the glass, the crystal. Basic timekeeping, day, chrono, uh, day, date and time. Uh, still have a calendar. So about $20 Casio MW, MRW 200H. A Walmart special. Okay. The next one in the loop is that this one right here. So the DW5600 is a classic Casio G-Shock. I really like this look. This is a classic watch. It's got an octagonal body. As you know, a lot of the G-Shock are now kind of round. This one is octagonal quite slimmer than the normal new popular DW1600 6000 series octagonal body LCD display it's about 49 by 33 millimeter uh, it does all your major basic function from Casio G-Shock full auto calendar stopwatch counter timer countdown timer flash alert so the alarm can also flash so, could be quiet you can notify you in silence but it's a G-Shock very sturdy very tough the next one is a very popular model it's a DW6900 it comes in multiple variants but this is one of mine and you have a military variant right here similar watch but different variant the D6, DW6900 series very popular movement this one I customized it I just opened the bezel and Make it, made it a little ugly, I guess. But popular G-Shock watch. Shock resistant, 200, me 200 watt meter water resistance. A very good watch. This will be probably, it's number three, but this will be the best value for toughness, functions, and reliability. So it's got countdown, 100 to do the 100 seconds. It has a stopwatch, auto full auto calendar, backlight with afterglow so when you press the light it has a glowing effect right after the light in the background. Also does the flash alert and the battery lasts about two years. I think this one I've only replaced the battery twice and I've had it for about eight or nine years at least. As you can see it's been worn several times. I do anything with this watch. Swimming, not so much diving but maybe if you just snorkel or up to 50 meter you will of course work very well labor you know hard yard work any kind of intensive labor abuse sports mountain biking falling on rocks this will take it dw6900 a very nice i like this one a lot it's one of my favorite of course you can have it in very different model fancier or look you know more military looking green dark all kind of colors being stuck in the house or around your compound or or wherever you reside does not mean you cannot be classy. So I threw in a Seiko, which is the Seiko Men's Recraft. It's automatic. This one costs about $180 to $200 or $150. I really like it. So 
one of my rotation is to wear this one once in a while so I don't feel I feel a little bit nicer right uh, again I have more watches that are cost a lot more than this but this is a good one to wear I really like it automatic movement stainless steel bracelet this one is 43.5 millimeters uh, casing uh, it's got a retro style look if I can capture the look right there very nice, very stylish. I like it. It's, it's the, your, your more dressier version. It's powered by a Seiko Caliber 7S26 automatic movement. And it's got an exhibition case back. So let me see if I can do it one handed. Exhibition case back. So you can see the movement in the back of the watch. Very nice. Uh, it's a self winding movement. So it's activated by and recharged by the movement of your wrist. The battery last is the specifications are about 42 hours reserve battery reserve. I've had it last uh, about about that time, about a, a day and a half without wearing the watch. So this will mean if you don't wear it, it will last for about two days. But I will always recommend keeping automatic watches or manual winding watch self self winding watches on some kind of a watch winder. Scratch resistant display so you can still take some abuse. I've done some exercises wearing this watch and some labor. So nice one, class deployment movement. So because you are stuck in the house doesn't mean you can be stylish. So this will be a good one. Seiko around $150 to $200. And retro look. So if you want to be classy, this is a good one to do. The last one on my list last but not least it's above $200 price range but I found it the best value in terms of functionality and features and uh, complication of course it's an Apple watch uh, forgot this one I don't know if it says G3 generation 3 third generation or fourth I don't remember it took me a while to purchase an Apple watch but why I like this one for a pandemic situation is because many of us are working from home, hopefully, thank God, we still have jobs and we are not impacted uh, on that side too much. However, this allows you to stay connected. You know, weather notification, all the different apps you may carry on your phone. The Apple Watch is quite tough, but not as tough as a G-Shock. So I had to switch my stainless steel band to a rubber band and put a little case protection here but I do everything with this watch it's actually spoiling me in terms of watch because I did have the good habit of rotating through my watches and wearing them all once in a while but since I got the Apple watch I found myself wearing this one a lot more than rotating through my watches especially when I walk out running getting all my statistic vital stat or fitness measures through the watch but I think ultimately, if you were to be quarantined or stuck into a situation, it's good to have an Apple Watch. And of course, with the different functions such as the health app, which allows you to still call for help or have warning based on the, the data plan on the watch. If you have one with the data plan, this one doesn't. Uh, but Apple Watch, of course, it's hard to beat an Apple Watch in terms of functionality. The point was having a review of things that are quite affordable and don't make you bankrupt most of them are under under two hundred dollars except for the apple watch hope you enjoyed again these videos are meant to be a distraction and a break from your daily routine during covid19 thank you for watching remember to post a comment like and subscribe and i appreciate the support thank you